Now, your news on the go. Mar Hamlin is back in Buffalo this morning. The 24-year-old safety has been transferred from UC Medical to Buffalo General Medical Center. That's right. Damar's flight back to Western New York comes exactly one week after he suffered cardiac arrest, collapsing on the field during last Monday's game against the Bengals. Doctors say he's now able to walk around his hospital room. They're also still doing tests to figure out what caused Damar to go into cardiac arrest. This morning, we now know the name of the victim killed on the city's first homicide of the year. Syracuse police say 27-year-old Tyus Ogletree was shot in the chest in the 200 block of Sunset Avenue Saturday night. A 24-year-old man was also shot in the leg but is expected to be okay. No word yet on any suspects. A new Hartford man already accused of setting fire to a pair of new Hartford restaurants is facing new arson charges. Mark Palmano is accused of starting a fire at the former Word of Life Church in Chadwick's around 10 last night. A few weeks ago, he was charged with arson for the fires at Manja Macrina Pizzeria and another at the former Zeb's, Pizza, or Zeb's restaurant. He's now behind bars with no bail at the Oneida County Jail. The Baldensville Board of Education was back in session last night, this time announcing the next step into the investigation of suspended Superintendent Jason Thompson. The board's next move will be to select a hearing officer. Once that's done, they can set a date for a termination hearing. It's been one month since Thompson pleaded guilty to driving while ability impaired. He's still on paid administrative leave. This afternoon, the governor will be delivering her state second state of the state it's address, but it's her first as elected governor. She's it's expected to focus on addressing crime, making New York State more affordable, and the economy. The governor is also expected to touch on Mike Brown's $100 billion investment in the town of Clay, including more job opportunities. Well, don't hit snooze. Get out the door and get a ticket. If you hit tonight's Mega Millions, you can say goodbye to early mornings. The jackpot is now an estimated $1.1 billion. The odds of winning, though, 1 in 302.6 million. Last time someone won was October. Well, Georgia fans are probably snoozing this morning after celebrating hard last night. The Georgia Bulldogs are the top dog of college football. They crushed TCU in the national championship game 65-7. to It's the second title in a row for the Bulldogs. They're the first team to do that since Alabama back in 2011-2012.